Hi everyone, myself Maruti. Welcome you all to Ram Martha Tutorials. Uh, today in this topic or in this video, I am going to explain uh, one of the parts of loss of in exponents. Loss of exponents, I have chosen one formula that is nothing but the quotient rule. So I am going to explain regarding the quotient rule here. This is the second rule of the loss of exponents. So uh, quotient rules comes like this a to the power m by a to the power n equals a to the power m minus n. Right? Or as you all know, the bottom one, this is nothing but the base and this is also nothing but the base and the top parts, these are nothing but the powers. Okay? So the quotient rule says a to the power m divided by a to the power m n equals a to the power m minus m. Here the condition is very important. If m is greater than n, this, this answer comes only, this answer comes only if m is greater than n. Means the top power, if it is greater, then only we are going to apply this one. Let me give an example for this one. Example for this one is so right something like 7.2 whole to the power 6 whole divided by something like 7.2 whole to the power minus 3 this is the example what i have chosen so if you check it out here 7.2 is the base as if we are like having a in the same way we are having one more base that is nothing but 7.2 right and if you check it out this is the power of the top one and this is the power here right so this is m and this is n as i have said you just now the smaller one reach should reach the bigger one so the answer goes like this right no need to write uh, two times you write only once and uh, this six stays there only as minus three is the smaller one it reaches to the top so it's plus three which equals 7.2 all to the power nine Okay, so this is the formula a to the power m by a to the power n equals a to the power m minus n if if m is greater than n means always the smaller should reach the bigger one. Now, now the same formula in terms of a to the power m whole to the power n equals 1 by a to the power n minus m. See the tricky part, right? Earlier the bottom one went up now. The top one came down here if this formula is applicable if n is greater than m that is what i am saying that is what i am saying right if n is bigger the top one should get down and uh, if uh, that's what here if you wherever the bigger one the smaller should go right that is what Kabibi chota wala bade kane jana chinna wadu pedda wadu dhikirik vellala enti powers right base is two times kadu vokka sare rayala base do bar hai to bhi apan eki bar likre either do bar hai to bhi apan eki bar likre now let me go for another example for that something like uh, minus 6.3 hold to the power uh, something like uh, minus x whole divided by something like minus 6.3 whole to the power 1 whole to the power 2 right this is the example what i have chosen so if you check it out here what is the base in the place of a as we are having minus 6.3 here also minus 6.3 means bases are equal right and in between what do we have division now the power should go up and down so who is the bigger one who is the smaller one here negative is always smaller minus here plus positive means always bigger now the bigger one the smaller one should reach the right bigger one right here this fellow will be getting down so minus 6.3 whole to the power 2 already is there that minus x will get down and it will become plus x so of course we don't know the value of that one just replace that one so what are the logics what we are having this is what the important one the first logic what we are supposed to remember is the smaller power should reach the bigger power the smaller power smaller power should reach the bigger one should reach the bigger this is the first logic which you have to remember 
right and the second logic what we have to remember always is power should not be negative power should not be negative power should not be negative right this is the very very two important logics what we have to choose right so these are the two formulas and before getting back to my practice worksheet i like to go for one more question for you suppose if the question is like this 15 to the power 8 whole divided by 15 to the power minus x is equal to 15 to the power 3 if it is asked like this and if he is asking you to find x if you are asked to find x then how you are supposed to do that it's very simple logic what we are supposed to do as i said the negative one should go up that is what we are doing here the negative one should go up 15 to the power 8 minus x if it goes to the top it becomes plus x yes equals 15 to the power 8 okay now the tricky part is whenever we are having basis equal and in between is equal to is there then power should also be equal eppudaithe neeku basis samanam undi matlo is equal to untundo power lu kuda samanam jabbi bhi apan ko base same hai ke beech mein is equal to raha to powers bhi saman hote basing upon that one 8 plus x right 8 plus x equals 3 okay so here 8 minus x went up plus x right in between is equal to the powers are also equal no need to write the base back again this power equals this power that is what i have written here now x is equal 3 plus 8 goes to other side minus 8 x is equal to minus 5 so this is how we are supposed to find the value of the variable using the quotient rule hope you are able to understand i will come back to the Let me come back to the concept now. I'm dealing with the application part of this one. So here it is nothing but as you all know, the concept says it is a nothing but a to the power m by a to the power n. So as I have said, you already always, if it of course here directly the formula says this one, but what you are supposed to remember is always that the smaller number should reach the bigger number. The smaller power should be reaching the bigger power. Now let us apply the same logic what I have said to you earlier in this one. So here the powers are of course the base is 7 and here also the base is 7. We are having the base. Now let us go for the power here. So here we are having one power and we are having one more power here. Now which is the smaller one and which is the bigger one. Always the negative one is the smaller and this is the bigger one. So as I said the smaller should reach the bigger one. Now let us go for that one. 7 to the power right already the bigger ones let the bigger one stay there itself. Now the smaller one should reach there. So the minus 4 as we all know goes there to the top and becomes plus 4. It's nothing but plus 4 there. So if you simplify it's nothing but 7 to the power 15. This is the first sum now let's get back to the second sum now again you please remember the formula thus the smaller power should reach the bigger power all right now the tricky part which is the smaller power minus 13 is the smaller or minus 15 is the smaller but you have to remember in the number line if you check it out minus 13 will become the bigger number and minus 15 will become the smaller number why because in the number line it goes in the reverse order now if you simplify that one let me solve it for you so which is the smaller and which is the bigger now the smaller one here it is the smaller and it should reach the bigger one so in the top in the numerator in the numerator as the numerator is getting down in the numerator we have to place one there and it has to get down so minus 20 whole to the power right already we are having minus 13 and uh, minus 15 it becomes it as plus 15 so if you simplify 1 by minus 20 whole to the power 2 but you if you might have remembered always always the power should be positive always power should be positive so check it out did you get the positive power right see here so if you check it out this is the positive power and in the earlier sum also the power is always the positive one 
now let's get back to the third sum here if you check it out if you check it out but see here straight away he didn't write in the division form right he has given symbol for us so what we are supposed to it's our knack to convert in the in the form of divide minus 1 by 2 whole to the power 11 yes whole divided by minus 1 by 2 whole to the power 5 means we have converted that one now if you check it out obviously this becomes the bigger and this becomes the smaller now straight away transfer it minus 1 by 2 whole to the power 11 this plus y if it goes to the top it becomes minus 5 so the answer is minus 1 by 2 whole to the power 11 minus y it's 6 so you got the concept there always the power should be positive there here the power is nothing but uh, 4 and we got it as positive now let's get back to video here here if you check it out he is asking us to find the value of x so what is the tricky part here means earlier as we have learned minus x whole to the power 30 yes whole divided by 5 by 4 whole to the power minus 3 this is the question what we are having now 5 by 4 whole to the power 16 we are having now if you check it out which is the power bigger is minus 3 the bigger or 13 the bigger so you know this minus uh, 3 is the smaller one and whereas 13 is the bigger one so let's take this one to the top so what does it become right it's nothing but minus x whole to the power 13 right minus y become plus y and here 5 by 4 whole to the power 16 this is what we are having here it's nothing but 3 here. now minus x whole to the power if you check it out 13 plus 3 is nothing but 16 equals 5 by 4 whole to the power 16 now you check it out here right here the power and the power they both are equal right then obviously the base should be equal to the base the base should be equal to the base here but if you check it out in the place of x what we are having there so straight away in the place of x it's nothing but 5 by 4 then what about this sign so you take x as it's nothing but minus 5 by 4 this is the way what we are supposed to now let us go for the third one here so if you check it out we don't know which is the bigger and which we don't know which is the smaller therefore straight away i'm taking the 11 to the top so minus 5.6 whole to the power x minus 11 equals minus 5.6 whole to the power minus 7 so see here right what is the base here here is base is nothing but minus 5.6 and here also base is 5.6 then the tricky part is this is the power and this is the power dono baby power ho jata tab power is equal to power ho jata par ko. so that is x minus 11 is equal to minus 7 jabhi bhi apan ko besa saman rahe ke beech mein is equal to rehta then powers bhi saman ho jata right then what we need to find we need to find the value of x here so send this minus 11 to the other side so x equals minus 7 plus 11 so if you simplify x is equal to 4 so this is how we are going to solve that one if you are able to understand that's great uh, get back to the last sum for the day so in the practice session you are supposed to do now let us check it out he has given a question for you and he is asking us what's the answer for that so let's go over this so x by 6 by 7 whole to the power x whole divided by 6 by 7 whole to the power 0 equals 6 by 7 whole to the power 50 so this is the given question now please remember suppose per suppose if you think uh, this is the smaller number and this is the bigger number obviously the smaller number go to the top so 6 by 7 whole to the power x minus 0 equals 6 by 5, 6 by 7 whole to the power 15 and you know x minus 0 is nothing but x so 6 by 7 whole to the power x equals 6 by 7 whole to the power 15 just now i said 
just now I said if the bases are equal this is base and this is base if bases are equal then power equals power so x is equal to 15 so which is the correct answer the fourth bit is the correct answer hope you are able to understand the application part and hope you do good in the practice part so hope you are able to understand therefrom maruti from ramarthu tutorials